Friday, June 15th, 5 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at a weather radar loop that uh, actually picked up a fireball fragmenting over the United States. And I recorded it. At the time, I wasn't sure if it was a fireball. Later confirmed at the uh, American Meteor Society that it was. First, Hawaii and the intensifying earthquakes, not only in numbers, were at a almost 5,000 total. Most of these earthquakes are on the big island of Hawaii. And this is the map at the USGS. I've never seen it that high. I know I've said that multiple times over the last few weeks, and it just keeps getting higher and higher. So this situation, as you can see, um, it's obviously intensifying. The quakes are moving to the north-northwest over Mauna Loa. Got a few stragglers out here offshore. But overall, the earthquakes are definitely strengthening and uh, increasing in numbers. Today, this was early this morning. This is an app that I used. And at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock this morning, I noticed a trend of 3.2, 3.3, 3.1s. A unit 3.0, there was eight earthquakes over three and one at three in 20 minutes. And this was at the volcano in Hawaii. This is an app that I use. I took a screenshot this morning because that was a new all-time high for my app, the way that I have it configured. Like I've said before, normally 500 is a very, very busy day. Uh, five, maybe six if there's a swarm. Uh, not even anything close to 2,900. And then after lunch, I noticed it was at 3,100. So it's definitely intensifying. Not sure where this is all going, but we're sitting on the edge of our seats, literally keeping a very close eye on the situation out in Hawaii. Here's the latest look at the Crater Summit through the live stream from the USGS webcam that they've just set up here within the last month. I think they're kind of expecting something to go on up here. It's gone on now for six weeks and it's intensifying, so more than likely, you know, I, I, who knows at this point? All we know is it's intensifying. Here's a look at the Fissure 8 flow. This is from the vent to the sea. And again, this is from the USGS. Taken yesterday, June 14th. Fly over at 6 a.m. And it's flowing almost like water in a river at times in places. You can see there's waves. Look at that. They say the cone's over 125 foot tall now in places at Fissure 8 spanning between seven and eight miles not showing any signs of letting up like the earthquakes you're looking at the new shoreline where the lava is entering the ocean most of what you see here is new land there's the fissure way back there in the background Unbelievable scene. New shoreline being formed. This is an offshoot there. All you can say is just wow. Witnessing creation. Pretty incredible video from the USGS. Links below in the description box. There's also a video of the summit of Kilauea. Play this video here or show you segments of it. You can see again this is a USGS video courtesy of their drone that flies out over the summit of Kilauea. And that's what we're looking at right now. We're going to look down in the crater from a drone. There you are looking right down the center of this thing. And there's no lava there right now. So I think what's causing these eruptions, in fact, there was just a quote-unquote eruption uh, less than an hour and a half ago. A 5.3 earthquake was a side effect of some movement of uh, the soil or whatever we got the crater wall, the soil around or the crater wall. One of the two moved, creating what registered as a 5.3 earthquake, but it was technically some sort of a eruption right here in the crater. So a lot of movement at the crater, it's changing shape, getting 
bigger. You can see new cracks along the edges. And again, we're in kind of uncharted territory here. We don't know at what point does this stop. Is it going to stop anytime soon? Is it going to intensify? A lot of unknowns at this point. But right now, um, earthquakes are in an upward trend at numbers I personally never seen before. That was almost 5,000 an hour ago. 5,000. And I don't think I've ever seen it uh, much over three. So very, very unprecedented numbers to say the least. I want to show you, here's a couple of pictures. This is a webcam that's looking at Fissure 8. In fact, let's freshen it up a little bit. Looks about the same. It's been looking about the same every day for the last several weeks, not showing any signs of uh, letting up. In fact, I want to show you another picture of the same area. This was overnight. I get up around 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning, and this is what it looks like at 1 a.m., 2 a.m. sometimes out in uh, the Big Island or out on the Big Island. But this one here was around 4.50. But I always look at it every morning when I get up. And this particular day, you can see it was lit up like a bright star illuminating the clouds. Um, it got very, very active around 4.50 a.m. And this was back on the 13th, just a couple of days ago. So it's not showing any signs of letting up. The earthquakes are increasing in strength, moving towards Mauna Loa, and increasing in numbers, which I don't know. I If we'd have said that six weeks ago, that we would still be looking at this event ongoing and intensifying, I would have been very surprised, but we are. So on to the next event, guys. Uh, fireball over in Nevada here at the American Meteor Society. And this occurred on the 13th. And you can see north of Las Vegas, a fireball was witnessed by over 80 people. 88 reports came in. So it was probably witnessed by many, many more than that. And you can see some people are reporting fragmentation. And I saw this come in on weather radar, believe it or not. Not this radar. This is showing us Hurricane Bud bringing some much needed moisture to Arizona, parts of uh maybe even Southern California, New Mexico. A little bit of moisture coming up into the Gulf towards the Texas uh, coastline. It is not going to be any type of hurricane, just a lot of rain over the next two or three days, but no uh, organized systems. But I wanted to show you guys this uh, weather radar loop that's quite unusual. And it's of the same exact fireball. Check this out. And I recorded this thinking it looked like a fireball, and it was. Later confirmed. You can see this is above Las Vegas. You can see it fragmenting right there. Broke into two, maybe three pieces. It's at the 5 o'clock position with, the, with respect to uh, Tonopah, just north of Las Vegas. Look at that. Fragments into, I think, three pieces. Showed up on weather radar. And that was a fireball witnessed the other day on the 13th. Had over, I think, uh, 88 reports. Let me freshen this up a little bit to see how many we got. I haven't freshened up in a couple hours. That's still 88. So our directions are uh, a little inconsistent with what their map is showing and what the radar showed, but it's in the same exact position. And if you slow it down really, really close, you can see three pieces come off of that. Same exact location, though, so I'm sure we're looking at the same exact event. And on a final note, guys, so here's another flyover, just a real quick observation. This is from the 12th USGS flyover of the coastline where the lava is creating a new coastline on the big island of Hawaii. And you can see it was very, very active on the, this was the 12th, I think. What day was this? Yeah, the 12th, 6.30 a.m. They normally do flyovers. And it looks exactly the same today as it did uh, three days ago. So things are not changing out there. If anything, they do seem to be intensifying. So like I said, we are sitting on the edge of our seats with our fingers crossed, hoping for the best. Uh, but those earthquakes continuing to strengthen and not only strengthen, but intensify in uh, intensity. It's kind of uh, something to pay attention to, especially migrating towards Mauna Loa. That's also something to keep a very, very close eye on. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you guys with another picture of what looks like a cigarette in the sky. This was from New Zealand. Grammy sent this in a couple of days ago. And it reminds me of the picture that was sent in from Palmdale, California. 
that looked like a cigarette in the sky, some sort of a roll cloud with no thunderstorms. And you can kind of see one back here too, off in the distance, something right there. I'm not quite sure what we've got going on with that, but interesting picture. Thank you for sharing. Appreciate it. You can find all of these pictures at the website, MrMBB333.com, with more uh, unique uh, updates from Hawaii, Kai Kamarzo, and his Facebook page link is here. He does uh, updates from Hawaii, the historic eruption of Kilauea of 2018, a unique perspective from a man that lives there. So he knows a lot about the volcanoes and their history, and he does reports every day that you can find right here at the website. Once again, MrMBB333.com. You can find the link below in the description box. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day, and be safe out there.